Yo everybody, what's going on? This is Keegan from K-Man Reviews. If you enjoy this review, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and if you have any opinions at all you'd like to share, put them down in the comment section. Big Sugar, Eternity Now. Big Sugar, Canadian rock reggae blues band, formed in 1988, led, founded by lead singer and songwriter Gordy Johnson. It's kind of a funny situation how I know this band. My friends and I were hanging out and heard one of their songs from their 2001 Smash album, Brothers and Sisters, Are You Ready? Which I actually covered on this channel previously. If you're curious, there will be a card in the corner for you to go check out. Anyway, ramble aside, this band was actually one of the best-selling bands in Canada for about two decades, which really speaks to their longevity, and they've just released a new album, Eternity Now, their first in five years. While I may not have been the biggest fan of that 2001 album, I do acknowledge the band's skill as musicians, and especially Gordy's ability to write a good song with a nice hook. So, in all honesty, I was only hoping for the best going into this album. So just how does it stack up? Let's find out as I review it track by track. We'll start off with the singles, with there being three of them. The first one being The Better It Gets, which definitely speaks to the band's more rock side of the spectrum with this gritty guitar riff as the main melody, plus some rather simple drum work. Gordy's vocal performance as well is a lot more rock, especially 80s stuff, with almost a kind of hair metal howl on some of these verses. And hey, not to mention a pretty stellar hook overall. And lyrically, it's about a relationship, and how the better it gets, the easier it is to feel better by the end of the day. Great single, I love this one. The second single, which is actually a Gary Wright cover of Love is Alive, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this track, but the immediate major difference between that version and this Big Sugar version is that the guitar and drums are much more prominent, whereas Gary Wright's version features a very upfront synth that barely makes it on this version at all. But Gary's one voice feels much more fitting than the background vocal mess on this Big Sugar version, especially on that chorus. In all honesty, I'll take the original over this any day. Doesn't mean it's a bad cover, just doesn't really do the original justice in my opinion. And the third and final single, Wonder Woman, has a lot of the same qualities that The Better It Gets has, with this infectious yet pretty simple drum work, and a less gritty, more groovy guitar riff. Gordy's excellent hook writing really comes through on this track. It's just got a nice vibe to it, and adding in that guitar solo before the final chorus, pretty nice touch. Lyrically, it's a track about fantasizing and idolizing this woman as a wonder, hence the title Wonder Woman, not actually the DC superhero. I prefer this track to The Better It Gets. Best single, great song. Not a bad list of singles here. Let's see what the rest of the album has to offer. Now for the rest of the songs. The opener and title track Eternity Now is a rather satisfying and fitting opener. It features this grand synth melody, then transitions into a pretty energetic pounding drum and a really epic sounding guitar riff that would just sound fantastic live. Gordy has a nice vocal presence too, almost prophetic in a way. Also, gotta love that solo halfway through the track. It almost has this synthesized effect to it. And lyrically, it's pretty vague, but what I can understand from it is it's basically about time not bending to anyone and how it still goes on at the end of the day. Despite it being just a little bit too long for me, I still enjoy it regardless. Anything is Possible is a complete change in genre from the previous part of this album, this showing off the band's more reggae side. However, I get a lot more of a tropical, kind of like Beach Boys stuff rather than reggae, especially with this bongo-y percussion and the synth work feeling very summery yet there's still a guitar riff and typically rock percussion. It's a whole clash that just doesn't really blend well, and not to mention that the track being five and a half minutes long of the slog fest. No thank you. Lyrically, it is much more of a positive moment about accomplishing your dreams because anything is possible. Unfortunately, the whole track kind of drags though, not to mention the background vocals on that chorus being kind of cringy. No thanks, I'll skip this one. New Event Horizon is basically the previous track Anything Is Possible done correctly, especially when it comes to instrumentally, with this one having a lot more of a traditional reggae influence than some tropical mumbo jumbo not to mention some rather fitting drum work that just blends in with all this. Gordy's vocals are also much better on this track, opting for a more breezy, mellow tonal majority of the time. Good to see that the band hasn't lost that touch of reggae that made their previous albums as enjoyable as they were. Thankfully as well, the track isn't as long as the previous one, so I will happily take this track. Great song. Ultraviolet is a song I'm kinda mixed on. I absolutely love that guitar riff. 
It's easily one of the best on this entire album with its toughness, yet when paired with this bass line, it's really groovy. And with the choir background vocals, the track feels very ominous in a way. But at the same time, the track is six minutes long. Three minutes too long in my opinion. It could have easily cut at three. Maybe four and would have been great, but can't really do too much about that. Lyrically, it's about taking this person away from their dark world before whatever it is takes control of them. Honestly, it's good, but the length makes it hard for me to enjoy it fully. Strange Spectacular is probably the best track on the latter half of this album. It's got a very relaxing vibe to it, also feeling very human in the process, with the calm, easy listening style drum work, and Gordy giving one of the best performances this album has vocally. And despite it being the five and a half minutes that it is, it doesn't overstay its welcome like a lot of the longer songs prior in the album. Lyrically, it's a bit vague, but I think it's about contemplating life and existence and how it's strange, yet also spectacular. This is another good song. And finally, the closer Everything You Want It To Be is a nice rock finish to end off the album. And yeah, it's pretty good. Probably has the most vibey feel out of all those rock tracks that filled up the first half of this album, mainly led by some pretty infectious drum work and a slightly muted guitar riff. Gordy's vocals are also pretty decent. They don't pack as much of a punch, but they don't really need to for a more vibey cut like this. Lyrically, it's about looking at the brighter side of life and asking this person, is it everything you want it to be? Very nice message for a good closer of a song. Overall, this Big Sugar album, it's pretty all right. The instrumentals are pretty tried and true to the band's original sound, and Gordy hasn't lost a beat vocally in the two decades he's been singing, not to mention his hook writing game is still pretty on point. I think a good majority of the songs in the middle, like Ultraviolet and Anything Is Possible, definitely could have had some fat trimmed when it comes to time, but aside from that, I had a pretty pleasant experience with this album. So I'm feeling a good 7 out of 10 on this album. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.